Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nana, and today we're playing some more Sims for Seasons. She believes in standing up for her rights, so she found a cause that she really loves. This must be money related. I don't know exactly what she's petitioning for. Let me know down below. Do you think Cassie would start a protest for? It's like, oh, in the most tense mood, he's gonna listen to her right now. All there is to do is probably go home. I mean, everyone is going home, everyone is tired, everyone is cold. The petition, I keep saying petition, I'm going to slap myself if I say petition. All over the place <laughs> because of the blizzard. It's just, <laughs> it's just like so funny to see all these sims kind of falling around and it's just, uh, it's just, it's the greatest. So. And we're gonna have her, I guess, end the protest. I mean, what else is there to do than stand in a blizzard and be cold? She's been here for a good while and it just seemed like the perfect time to do a protest, but no. So she's feeling really confident. I mean, she is happy from, you know, having some fun in the snow and doing a protest and having some good food, but she's also wondering, oh, what the heck am I doing? It's cold and I'm actually really surprised I haven't seen any dead people yet. I Cassie has, I think, one more day off, perhaps two, so she wants to make the best of her free day, and free days don't really happen that often in Cassie's world. She's pretty much a hard worker, and she never takes a day off, so having this much time in her hands is like, what the heck? Oasis Springs is my dream, my dream country, my dream land. I really wanted to go and visit it. It's like an odd city. If anything, it has mysteries and aliens and like if you believe in that of course but cassie cassie's always been intrigued by things that aren't normal and i don't think she's considered quite normal herself i mean she is a normal person don't get me wrong but she's always been more into herself than other people and i think that her quirkiness and her attitude is just it just fits way better with oasis springs than it does with the city life you know some people just really fit with a, a a theme, a country, a land, and I feel like Cassie really fits Oasis Springs like to the T. And I even think Salem does fit it. I feel like Oasis Springs seems so laid back. It's almost like this off the grid land, like this off the grid country um, that everyone's just relaxed, mind your own business, kind of doing your own stuff, being kind of a way, you know, it's like the black sheep of all the luscious lands. I don't know how to put that. It's like, um, it's like everyone minds their own business here. It kind of reminds me of the Wild West, if you make that make sense. It reminds me of those movies where if anything, you know, if anything bad goes down, it's in like this kind of set. I really wanted to go ahead and try out ice skating. There's also an option to roller skate, but I feel like since the weather is kind of snowy, I felt like it was I felt like it was appropriate to have her go skating at least once this winter. And I tried my best to find one, but I couldn't find a rank whatsoever. So <laughs> I just had to place one here. If you have to, I don't know if that's a bug or not. Like, I feel like every, everything I can't find is a bug. <laughs> like, everything I don't know how to do, that's a bug. What's the setting? Ooh. Okay, so we turn on party lights. What does that do? Uh, oh, and then how about effects? Wait, let's do snowflakes. What does that do? That's, that's actually kind of fun. Like, we're the only one skating. I wonder if that's an actual skill. Cassie, no, 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 come here. I wonder if that's an actual skill that we learn, um, skating? I wonder if that's, I, I don't really, no, it's, okay, it's for fit, oh, sh oh, wait, we have work? I thought we had another day off, oh my god, I guess we were mistaken, so this is the last bit of fun we're gonna have today before our life of work starts again. I get, that's was, that's probably why she wanted to get off so much. Can we do, like, tricks? Keep skating around the rink. Okay, so we're just gonna have to do this for a little longer. Uh, excuse me, Cassie, this is not your house. I'm, I honestly love the concept of weather changing um, per, you know, per land, per, what do you call it, per world. Uh, and it seems like Oasis Springs doesn't exactly have a white, white, like a white, white, white excuse me, a wide winter. It seems like it's just cloudy and cold. So I'm thinking probably in the summer is going to be really warm here, like really, really warm. Um, I'm obviously, in a way, I love winter more than summer, but I feel like Cassie probably doesn't because of the whole... Um, 
I think the whole family setting, I guess, just really like about winter. So I think if I have to guess, probably fall would be Cassie's favorite timing. But you know, I think fall would be more like her first season. Anyway, let's take a shower really quick. I do want to get into work. I don't want to miss my work. Like I'm dying to get back into work, honestly. Let me know down below what you think would be Cassie's favorite season. I don't think it's winter. I think winter reminds her of all the bad things in her life. But I think summer, I don't know if, if summer is exactly what she feels like. I think like fall might be her favorite. But I'm not sure if I can actually settle for a country, a world that has that doesn't have any snow. Like I'm just crazy about snow. But maybe every winter we can just go on like a winter holiday. That would be fun, right? Just go to a winter holiday and just, I don't know. Like, go to a place where there is snow, I think that would be, like, exactly what we just need to do then. Just get a little bit of snow. I love snow. Honestly, I love snow, but I don't know if Cassie's kind of, kind of like that. Anyway, Cassie is going off to work, so I guess it's just us now. Let's see what Betty's up to. Betty? Betty? <laughs> you know, Betty looks really cute. I keep saying Betty. What do you say? Do you say Betty or Betty? Betty or Betty? I feel like Betty or Betty is, like, really an accent difference. I think my my gran, who is uh, from the UK, would always say Betty, Betty Boop. That's what her dog was called, and I love the dog. It was so cute. It was um, can't figure out the the breed name right now. But it was such a nice dog, and uh, because I talk so much English to my American friend, I like I started to talk like my friend, and she just says Betty, 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 Betty. So I don't, why am I even explaining this to you anyway? Pointless, but yeah. Betty or Betty? Let me know down below. What is your way of saying the T? Do you say Betty or Betty? I know Betty sounds like a bedding, like, oh, it's my kid bedding. I'm aware there's a lot more aspects to the whole seasons, but because we don't have a house, I don't want to complete or really dig in too much of the planting career or the planting um, hobby, whatever you want to call it, as well as the beehive, which I do want to experience the bee box, whatever you call it. But as well, uh, like I said, it's, it's, it's the same. I want to keep that for when we have an actual like house. And to get a house, I feel like we need to do some extra work. Like I think we need to work really hard or at least have a combined income. But for that, we need some things to happen. So I want you guys your opinion on this. So um, obviously we're still in love with Salem, but it's just really awkward right now. Like we're just really awkward together. Then we did have a thing with Norris for a little bit. And um, I even even our mistake from last part i don't care about him anymore i don't want him in my life he has children with the whole entire world nobody cares about him i'm thinking perhaps we should have her maybe date around a little bit now i don't think that she would be someone that really goes on dates to you know find her real love but then again i feel like she's matured a little and i think that I think that she's also starting to realize that staying at home is not gonna have her like have a love life and I don't remember particularly if she has a romantic if she's a romantic sim or not no she's not but she does really appreciate um, romance in her life now she is aging up rather soon I think she's her birthday I think her birthday let's say let's have a look her birthday her birthday is in spring actually Ooh, isn't it isn't it spring yeah it's spring okay so her birthday is in spring which is coming up next time next <laughs> next month Ooh, that's soon her birthday is coming up really really soon so you know she's gonna be an adult i'm not saying there's anything bad with being an adult and being single but i do really think that she wants to have a companion in her life not necessarily someone who she needs to depend on i think that's a mistake she doesn't need anyone to depend on. She needs someone who can fill up the romantic spot in her life. She really wants to have some romance in her life. And, you know, it's hard when you have a boyfriend, okay? It's just really hard. Got a promotion. Cassie's been promoted to sound check. And she will now make an additional four per hour, four grand of total per hour. So her next shift is Saturday at nine. Oh my god, so she's working tonight again. 
crazy, right? She just got out of work and she's already having work. But her, her day and night schedule is just like so twisted. She pretty much has to sleep throughout the day and then get up at night and then, you know, pull through the night and get up in the morning. However, um, she can do it. She's super used to it and she's always been kind of more active at night anyway. Her brain just works like that. Let's go ahead and light the Christmas tree. Yes, I got another one. It's not the official one that came with the game, but the one that came with the expansion just is, is bugged, okay? It's bugged. It doesn't work. It's just, it's just, it, it's just not working. So I'll have to have her clean because I, I just can't stop. So I'm thinking perhaps um, we should experience some of these things that we can just do when we're like not, you know, an adult. I feel like there are certain things in life we just don't really do as an adult. And I think like this kind of speed dating thing perhaps is something that you don't really do. So I'm, I'm wondering whether or not I'm going to have her do that. What do you guys think? I feel, I feel a little frisky tonight. I feel like I might just want to go and, um, I don't know, like have a taste have a taste of what's around me i haven't really done that in a while and i really I, I probably need some good advice maybe i should go and do that with the girls maybe when savannah's back we should go ahead and do that i don't really think i am like i'm i'm, I'm honestly i'm just too awkward for the life of me to do that alone so i need some girl power and i know savannah would just hook me up with anyone which speaking of savannah you haven't seen her in a while savannah is currently on holiday with her dad and spending some time with him so she can't really, you know, hang out with her. And Miko, like I said, Miko has kids. So you don't really, you know, hang out with your kids that often. So it's like she's really, she really is a little alone. Now, another thing that's been happening to Cassie as well is that she has been feeling rather upset. I don't like upset as in mentally, but her body. Her body is physically just feeling a little weird. It's like she's feeling a little... A little nauseous, a little crampy. She's not really sure of what exactly has caused this. It, I think it could be stomach bug, but it could also be pregnancy. I don't know about you, but what if Cassie actually turned out to be pregnant? And not from Salem, of course, because that's been like seven months, but from her last hookup with Norris. Her one and only moment where she was stupid and she made a big time mistake. Like that would definitely be like the... Are you... Cr are you... Cr honestly... Honestly, like, can you just leave? Like, uh, I'm pretty sure my door is locked. Like, what is that good? I really want her to go and experience a date night, and I want to do it soon. I have a feeling... Okay, so we have work. We are free from work on Monday, so why don't we add an event on that day? And, um... Yeah, just, just, just try to meet some new people. I'm... I mean, we're all single. I, yeah, we're all single. Miko is single. Savannah's single. Cassie's single. So I, why not? Why not have that house party? Nah, nah. Spooky party. Weenie Rose dinner. Dinner party? No, 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 no. Oh, but I, I, huh? Work. So where are the host? And eh. actually, you no. Know, why don't we invite them over to for dinner? Let's just do that. We'll invite Savannah over for dinner, and we'll invite Miko over for dinner. And then at the end, after having some food, we'll just uh, we'll just go out. Yeah, unless we can just go. No, we we don't really have much choice. If fun. The girls are gonna come over. I'm also kind of wondering what to do with this. So I could have her have like her own little store or whatever. And just sell some flower arrangements or things like that. Like, I'm really trying to figure out what she's going to do if she's not going to be a singer. Because I feel like being a singer is just, like, in her blood. So, um, it's like, what am I going to do, right? Like, what am I going to do? I feel kind of stuck with her, with the ideas of what I wanted her to do in her life. Like, one part of me is, like, I want her to just write music and sell it. Because I don't think she wants someone to manage her. I just think she wants to do what she wants while doing what she loves. And I th just think that she doesn't know how to do it properly by herself. So maybe, maybe we need to educate ourselves. My heart is still aching though. I really want, um, I really want Salem. And despite that everything in my bone is saying no, just no, no. I am going to send him a happy text. He's still the person that I loved. And I'm just going to, I'm not going to do much, okay? I'm just going to... Just ask him how he's doing and see if he's feeling any better because I, I, I really, I really do like the guy and I really, I really want to, oh my god, 
so Salem is actually proposing to hang out with me and I'm actually not freaking sure what to do um I don't know where does he want to hang out with me okay you know what I'm gonna accept despite everything in my body says no I really should not hang out with him I really should not go out with him right now not especially after last time but he did invite me over and or he did invite me out and I have a soft spot for him and before everything is going great uh we're having just some small talk but I think he's taking it very well he doesn't seem drunk he doesn't seem angry so everything is good for now there must be a bench where we can sit um and have some view there must be a view that we can choose to how about we sit over here let's sit and chat here on this bench looking over the frozen water and that would I guess it's not completely frozen maybe slightly I don't, I don't know but anyway it, it looks like a very a very nice spot to just kind of sit look at i'm kind of afraid that we're not in a position to do that but it's going great it's going a lot better than i thought it would and this is making me feel really really happy really comfortable in myself thinking wow maybe we can get through one door maybe there is a chance that we're gonna be fine maybe we won't be a couple but at least i can still have him in my life and i would i would love to have him in my life and i feel like he still looks at her like excuse me sit down I feel like he still looks at her like she means the world to him like he looks so in love when he looks like he just looks like he's dreaming away about her and it's just so sad to see that he's the one who broke up with her yet he seems so incredibly still into her and just do you see just the way he looks at her it's just like so sad to think that these two are not together and it's all kind of like their own fault you know what i mean they're trying to run away and cassie's like wait wait I, I need to i need to talk to you first I, I need to tell you something why are we well we're going very far to tell him something excuse me it's like salem I, I need to ask you something about last time like are we are we good like what's going on between us he's like yeah I, I i'm sorry i was i was really drunk and i and i didn't mean it and I, I can't tell you what to do anymore you're not my girlfriend and as much as i loved having you as my girlfriend i guess it's just not infinite for us right salem seems to be thinking that there's no way they're gonna get back together because cassie's just gonna find someone better and he's really insecure about that he's really insecure about himself thinking wow we're never gonna get back together this girl is so amazing she's gonna find someone else i was a douche i asked her to break up i can't i cannot flipping ask her to get back together with me i just can't it's over for me but at least i hope to have a great relationship together and cassie is just like cassie just stop, stop showing off cassie come on but see the things with cassie it's like cassie's still in love with him but she feels like she can't get back together with him because he's the one who broke up with her and he probably doesn't want her anymore so the two of them are really in love with each other but both of them are just kind of like not making the move because they're thinking that one another doesn't want them anymore like you know what i'm saying like arguing is so much easier and talking about your deep and honest feelings is just it's just hard and uh, I think they're both kind of thinking like I don't I don't think that excuse me I want to build a, sn a snow pal with Salem excuse me can I not build can I have a snowball fight with Salem then oh can shove snow in his face but I can't make a snowman with him okay they both think they have no chance with one another and they both think they're not in love with the other anymore while in fact both are in denial and they love each other so incredibly much that it hurts if they really wanted to find someone else they would have put the effort in months to come and cassie's just fooling herself thinking i need to find another dude to get over this heart no not nope not 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 at all never i need to say goodbye like work is coming up soon i need to pee there's like a lot of things going on right now it's like hey i found this hey baby i found this carrot and it just it just reminded me of you so much and i and i really hope that you appreciate my carrot i grew it with a lot of love and it's your favorite it's your favorite vegetable i know it is and i hope you love it and don't think anything of it it's just it's just it's, it's, just, it's just a carrot okay don't please don't think too much of it ah he accepted it of course he's gonna accept it he's in love with her like he's never going to deny that um so let's um oh cry oh cry oh oh, 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 oh chippies now she's 
is feeling like flirtatious and she wants to flirt with him and oh my god i think she's she's trying so hard to not let herself go and get romantic with him and and let him know that she loves him but get damn the way you're shaking that booty everyone knows you're into him I really just i don't think i should be too romantic with him just a little bit to um crank up a relationship because i feel like it's very negative right now our relationship is super negative and i don't think it should be where we don't hate each other that much like I, I honestly feel like the game is a little exaggerating when you um break up with someone like a little exaggerating anyway it seems like he's oh he's over with it excuse me salem excuse me salem <sighs> she needs to cool down a little bit telling yourself girl girl relax relax this meant nothing she feels the same as she always feels with salem which is just absolutely perfect but she has to tell herself that it means nothing it honestly just means absolutely nothing and she and Salem are just on good terms. They're not together, they're not romantically involved, they're just okay and right now she's just letting herself experience the emotions that come with, you know, being around Salem but once she gets home and back to work she definitely has to kind of slap herself in the face and be like, girl, men up, men up, we, you know oh the lighting is do you see this lighting i need to take a picture of that that looks great anyway i'm going to end this part here i want to thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next part bye